In 2K18, man, I had a build that I used to run with all the time. It was one of, it became my favorite build, and I could do everything with this build. Pass, shoot, dribble, kick, dimes, all that. So guess what? I had to remake it in 2K19. I had to make a version of it in 2K19. So I did, hey, look at me, look at me. I made a 6-9 pure point for the NBA 2K, man. I had to. I had to make a guard build besides my lockdown. I had to make a, a guard build. Now, it took me a while to decide what build I was going to do. But after thinking about it, man, how much I love my 18 player, I was like, let me make a tribute player to that guy. I'm going to make a tribute player to my 18 player. A 6-9 pure point for. Why did I not go 6-10? It's because this is a better build. You need the... You need the the extra dribbling right now i'm an 88 everything you see in is with an 84 ball control i i got an 84 ball control so you don't see me doing too much flashy stuff but when i'm an 89 i get the i get the 87 ball control and when i get the 87 ball control i'm about to be unstoppable now check this out y'all like calm here goes some calm this is the lineup we was running it looked toxic don't it that's because it is toxic we running two shooting locks, baby. You know how I do. I got to rep my shooting lockdowns. The peers. I only run, I like running with peers, bro. That's what I do. And we going against some look, some look key, low key sway. Look like they kind of sweaty, right? You see them, you probably running off the court. I'm talking to you, Ami ones, Ami twos, Ami threes, and pros, bro. Y'all run off the court. And as soon as you see the word E in the lead, y'all running. Now, the one of the reasons I like the point forward build, man, is because of the bruiser and the stopper. I low-key feel like a lockdown. I feel like a lockdown out here. Like, I can literally clamp up everybody. Guards, stretch, everything. Can't nobody really just get, just, just cook me. You know what I'm saying? I'm too big. Too big. I'm going to get a contest off. I'm going to get a contest off. Now, you wonder how this lineup will work. We ran on a we ran a 20 game, bro. We ain't even lose. That's because my pure point for is a mini lockdown. He's like a half lockdown. Like he's a speed boost and lockdown that can kind of shoot. Now, if you know I can shoot with my lock, I can shoot with the point for. You know, it, it, you giving me 70 ball control over 50. That's even easier. It's even easier to green out. All I need is a little hot zones and then that's it. So what we be doing is just let me ISO, bro. I I just go ISO. If they help. I kick it to one of the locks. They all they shooters, bro. My locks I run with are all shooters because I have taught them the, the cheese, man. I've taught them the cheese. I, look at look look at what jump shots they all got on. You'll see, you'll see what jump shots they all got on. Now I hit them with some simple stuff. I, I ain't look. My dribble style is completely different than everybody else. Y'all y'all I don't do the too much flat, but I got enough. You feel me? I got enough to to get open and to look cool. You feel me? Just a, it's a cool balance. And then I'll make some awkward in there. Cause the awkward is the hard thing to guard. That's the hard stuff to guard. What you fail to realize, the hardest thing to guard in this game is awkward cheese. If you dribble awkward, combined with cheese, you can't be stopped. You will always find a way past your man. Most dribble heads got terrible records. Why? Cause they don't have IQ. Always think they practice with dribbling. They ain't practice IQ. But wait, you can't practice IQ. All you practicing is dribbling. So, yeah, you can dribble, but can you score? Can you get your teammates open? Do you know how to win when it's time to win? Or are you just going to keep dribbling to look cool? Look, I see. I know I know what I'm doing, but look. I got a little moves. I got a little something, right? A little something with an 84 ball control. You know what I'm saying? A little something. Now, every dribbler gets their dribble moves from, like, the same source. Everybody got the same combo, same everything. That's why y'all easy to clamp up. It's predictable. The key is to be unpredictable, you fools. The key is to be unpredictable. If you're just gonna spin it behind the back and spin it behind the back, all I, all I know is you're either about to drive or shoot. And I can predict which one it's gonna be. But if you start off with some weird, awkward stuff, like this, like what I just did right there, they, they're like, I just dribbled it and actually, no, I'm not dribbling. Now, literally, as you know, the reason why, because my takeover ran out and I can't dribble anymore. But the key, the key to getting by your man is to stay unpredictable. What does Curry and Harden do? They keep their man unpredictable. They don't spam the same exact combo. Sometimes Kyrie just blows by. Sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he do extra stuff. Sometimes he doesn't. That's the keys, man. That's the keys to getting by your man. 
It ain't all about flash, flash. Now we got now twos. This build is even easier on twos. Why? Because I don't. I got more space to operate. Look at this. Look, he's way too little. Get off me. Get off me. If you a little guard guarding me, I'm gonna finish all of you like I'm a like I'm a big. That's the sad part, bro. I can't speed boost yet. I give it to Ban Hammer, you know what I'm saying? He go, he take it for the dunk. He's all he remember, he's a rim protector. I don't run, I ain't even ran with no stretches because stretches can't play D. I, I don't know what stretch they can though, you know what I'm saying? Or a money stretch. So since I ain't got no money stretches, I'm playing with shooting locks until until I get until they get past or something. But yeah, I ain't yeah, I don't don't pass my lock, Mike Wayne. I know y'all don't mess with me, y'all ain't gonna give me no logo. But don't come in here just to patch me. You feel me? Don't come click on the video just to patch you, boy. You know what I'm saying? I know how y'all. I know how y'all be patching these jumpers. And all right, Bad Hammer misses the shot. They get the ball. Now the time to be a lockdown. Now this guy is a sharpshooter, running ISO. He's a sharpshooter trying to run ISO. Imagine. Imagine. Look at this. No, where's your screen, buddy? Get this. Call your boy and get the screen. Get the screen up. Oh, see, up. Too late. Too late. And he left me open. Stroke! By the way, I'm saying stroke, not strap. I see people saying they say strap. I'm, I'm yelling stroke, like the jump shot stroke. But anyway, man, back to the point. Four on twos. Basically, every game was kind of like this, bro. Every game was like this. I really had, like, one comp game. That was actually an issue, and that was a stretching glass. But we blew them out the first time. They came around, and it, the gameplay is so toxic, y'all really wouldn't want to watch that, bro. Trust me, y'all wouldn't want to watch that. So I didn't even post it. But basically all they were doing is trying to push me, and it was just a lot of misattempts. The kid went like four for 12. Uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. And then they just kept banning him and missing a lot of his shots. But as long as the, as the stretch hitting his shots, bro, this lineup can't be stopped. This lineup can't be stopped, I'm telling you. If the if not the stretch, the rim. If the rim can hit his shots, we money. But let me know how y'all feel about this point for it, man. I didn't I told you I didn't go 6'10. Now listen. A 6'10 would be like what I'm doing right now. Like, it's cool. It can be used. But the reason I go 6'9, if you're thinking about making a pure point. It's because it's, the it's literally the tallest thing that can speed boost off rip. The speed boost and off rip is underrated because you want to be able to get start off quick. Like you want to like off rip, you want to start off strong. You don't want to have to warm up. I don't like having to always warm up, bro. That's the annoying part about this build at the moment. I have to warm up to get to dribbling. I mean, yeah, I can get by the man easily, but I have to warm up. To do it, I'd rather just off rip, cookie off rip. You feel me? That's just me. Now I'm going to say another pure point for it. A 94. So probably trying to do ISO wars. What we doing? You see, I ain't use one screen this whole gameplay. I don't need screen. If I get a screen, I'm getting mad. I'm saying get away from me. I don't want a screen. Nothing pisses me off more than double screens because oh my god, it's toxic. So he's sitting there trying to cook. We trying to find a way to cook you, boy. I'm a no, no, no. You're not like that, buddy. No, no, no. Now he's a fan. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you. I'm pretty sure the point four left me a message saying good game or whatever. I'm a fan. So shout out to you. You made it in the video. You made it into the video. So you jump. I wait. Awkward cheese. Like just a little awkward stuff like that, bro. Like I did. I've been doing that since 18 with my other point four. And whoever ran with me know. Whoever ran with me know. I used to just do a little awkward stuff like that all the time. Bored. Ain't having it. He slaps it out of here. I'm looking for the oop. Bow. So that's why this lineup works, bro. I, I can throw oops from half court. They play defense. I can play defense also. Look, I ain't even tell Boy to get on. I, I got him, bro. I got him. You know what I'm saying? I'm a lock too. Y'all yeah, know I'm a pure lock. One of the best pure locks of all time. So I know how to play defense naturally. Now, this is a debatable shot right here. I don't know how I went in. I ain't going to lie. But hey, I'm like that, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So I'm playing D on the point four once again. He's trying to find a, a lane and he misses again. Told you the point is a mini lock. The point is a mini lock. I can play defense, I can do it all. Now I got a little takeover, now I can start speed boosting. Now I hit him with a little 
a little park cheese, you know what I'm saying? That's what y'all y'all like, park cheese. So there you go. Hit them with some of that. We get it back again. I got my takeover. Now it's time for more. It's time for more. He, he expect the cheese now. Now I hit him with awkward cheese. So he don't know what I'm about to do. He don't know what I'm about to do. I just hit him with park cheese. Now I'm hitting him with awkward. Look at look at his awkwardness, bro. Look at this. And then board with the limitless range lockdown three. Oh yeah. So hope you enjoyed the video, man. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe if you do. I appreciate all of you. Appreciate the support. We almost hit 200k, man. We're almost at 200k. We're really close, man. Thank you for y'all riding with me, man. I appreciate it. To next video. I see y'all there, man. Peace.